Hey everyone, welcome to this video on performing a multi-thresh using Atsu's method. First and foremost, please check out my video on regular thresholding. That's the simpler case. This is the more advanced case. We're going to start by loading in an image here and converting it to grayscale. And then we need to define how we want to approach this multi-thresh. Typically, we just use one split and then values that were greater than that split we decided became all white and values that were lower became black. We can think of this multi-thresh as adding in more channels to split over and now we're going to have two arbitrary values. Things that are greater than the highest value becomes white, things in between the two values are gray, and things lower than our bottom value become black. I can show you this by just running the code here and on the right we have our Atsu method thresholds and we have white in the very bright spots, gray intermittently interspersed here, and then black in the other regions. That's a triple split but it's only using two values as I've specified here. I'm going to increase this pause to make sure that I get the title that I'm looking for on my plots. The code here, let's be honest, you're just going to copy it anyway and that's totally fine. Um, but I'll explain what's happening. We're quantizing the image off of the threshold that we create. The threshold becomes an actual matrix now of multiple values. That matrix goes into the quantize function and we get out values that are basically zeros, ones, twos, threes, depending off how many splits we do. Then I'm just centering these around zero. So we have zero being black pixels to start. And then I need to scale those between 0 and 1 so we can actually make an image out of it. This is simply making the montage. And then I'm adding a dynamic title here that'll have the changes of our number of thresholds that we're using here. I have a separate video on dynamic titles as well. Check the description for that link. If we go ahead and run this again, there our title popped up this time. And we can keep increasing the number of splits we want to do. Let's say I do three, it'll split into four different colors, five, and you'll see as we begin to add more and more thresholds here, more and more splits, we actually can get pretty darn close to the original image. We're simply using on the right 20 different layers, you know, 20 different grayscale colors now from pure white at zero, excuse me, from pure black at zero to pure white at one. The image on the left is just using from 0 to 256. So it's using 256 bins to place the, uh, the pixel values, whereas we're only using 20. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on the multi-thresh Atsu's method. Definitely check out the rest of the series on image processing if you're enjoying this. Have a great day. Cheers.